Hey guys, and welcome back to part three of this playthrough of Murdered Soul Suspect. Uh, we left off in the last video, having just concluded the second investigation into the, our murder, which we are playing as the main protagonist, uh, Ronin. And basically, we found out that there was a witness to our murder. And she fled through a window and headed for the church. So that is where we are heading now. Just to let you guys know, we game on aim to game mostly on PC. And we will be doing so regardless of whatever you tell us. <laughs> but basically, I believe that real gamers, they actually game on PC. Because you get a more... Uh, true version of the game when the game is actually ported over and if it's not a poorly ported game then you get the full version of the game and if you've actually played one of the latest ones which is uh, Watch Dogs uh, a lot of people that played that game on console were unhappy with the graphics now if you're like me and you played that game on PC then you would know that the PC version actually has quite superior graphics to the uh, Xbox and uh, PS4 uh, versions. So without further ado, let's jump into this game, part three. Uh, let's keep going. Okay guys, here we go. We just left from that balcony up there. Jumped down and we're about to start heading towards the church. As you can see, the graphic quality for this game is actually pretty damn good. And like I said in other uh, videos from this series, uh, I'm not really used to uh, playing games of this type. I mostly play uh, open world games uh, that are pretty much like GTA and games of that sort. But this is a first try and I'm actually really enjoying this game. I hope you guys are too. So let's continue. Review my life. The day everything died for me. The end of forever. Thinking about it is so surreal. I instantly have to have an out-of-body experience every time. Seeing myself at that moment, after she tried to break up an argument between two men on the street, two strangers to her, one of which would stab her for no reason at all. She died for trying to help, and the asshole got away. If I had arrived to meet her just one minute earlier, my life would have been different, better, and she wouldn't have been gone. Oh, the sad dude, the sad dude. You lost your lady. Hello, Mr. Popo. You, I'm gonna eat Face it, Baxter hated the guy. I think the hate was pretty mutual. Ronan was a little rough around the edges. But Baxter, he isn't exactly Mr. Cuddly. Yeah, but... You don't think he'd... I mean, a fellow cop. Or anybody. In this job, I'm surprised less every day about what people are really capable of. <laughs> so, so far, guys, like, as I've been playing this game, the mechanics for this game and the controls are pretty damn simple. Or simplistic, so... If you haven't played this game and you're watching this to decide whether or not you are going to play this game, I would actually recommend this as a uh, playthrough game, because I, I cannot see you playing this more than once, if I'm being honest with you, because I don't see an actual replay value in this game, but as a one play, I think this is an awesome game, and if there is a sequel to it, I would play. Okay, we've used that. supposed to be heading towards the church, but 
This is probably another help mission. Yep. <laughs> Where am I? Listen, I don't know if there's anything I can do, but it looks like you could use some help. I, I don't know how I got here, or, or even where here is. I can't remember what happened to me. Why am I like this? I'm sorry to tell you, kid. But if you're here, it means you're dead. I knew it. <laughs> I'm in a similar situation. Now, I used to be a detective. Let me take a look around and see if I can find anything that will help you make sense of all this. I, I don't even know where you'd start. Is there anything you remember? It doesn't matter how small. Sometimes the tiniest detail is all it takes. Um, I remember lots of people in this rowboat. I, everyone was scared. And I, I keep seeing the name Mana Hansen. That's a start. Let me see what I can do. Okay, information. It doesn't look like she remembers much. I wonder what the name Mona Hansen. Well, that looks like Mona Hanset. Uh, refers to. Well, just to let you guys know, I will be playing most of the side missions as well because I don't believe a playthrough is a playthrough without playing the entire game. So, if you just wanted to see the main story, then you'd probably be a little bit disappointed because <laughs> I will be doing the side missions and any uh, extra cutscenes that are in the game, you will be seeing those too. So, let's inspect this. This is for obituary. You died when a woman capsized and sank, her body was never recovered. What is she doing on a robot? Okay, that's clue one of five. The newspaper obituary. The girl's obituary it says she she was in a rowboat returning to the sinking Mon Han set uh, right before she drowned. Okay, there's more stuff around here. That's definitely okay. Let's inspect the candles. Various candles. A bunch of candles were left here over the years. Most of them look like prayer candles. Someone was holding a visual for the a vigil for this lady. This is a painting. It's a painting here. A framed picture. A picture of the survivors of the Montana set steamer wreck. Something we need to collect. Witness eye, a view of eyes. Witness only saw the suspect's face briefly, much of his face obscured, but suspects appear, suspect appears to be white male with blue eyes. Okay, so this is this is the, the main this is from the main storyline. What else do we have around here? That's three of five on this investigation, so two more to go, guys. Let's see, there's something on the pier there. I don't need to hide right now. What do we have here? Pirate history plaque. This spot overlooks the favored launching point for many pi privateers who operated with tact or tacit permission of the continental navy during the revolutionary war salem was the primary harbor of for heavily armed and fast moving ships that would attack royal navy ships as they attempted to apply pressure to the neighboring port of boston harbor pirates of the americas i guess okay we've got another clue here Feel my life, so this is not about the actual. No one made me smile like you did, Jules. That was quick. It's 
hard to put into words the happiness Julia brought me in my life. Okay. Let's correct this. Day at the beach. The pictures we took at the beach came out surprisingly well considering it was almost dark. The one I got of Ronan just as the sun was setting was brilliant. It wasn't much of much for catching Ronan's features, but my what a silhouette that man had, that man cuts. He makes everything around him look good. Salem could use that shot to sell itself as a beach resort. investigation so continuing on okay we've got something there what is that so we've got some flowers here there's a Just note things. you will be deeply missed you are a hero to us all Flowers. The note on these flowers reads, "You will be deeply, you will be deeply missed. You are a hero to us all." So she probably save someone. And we're looking for one last clue. And where would that be? Slow nice boats. this looks like a memorial of some kind I'll bet people left more than just this around here finding that stuff could help piece things together well that's five clues so how did this lady on the beach die The girl's obituary it says she was in a rowboat returning to the sinking Mahanaset right before she drowned. Um, frame picture of the survivors. Picture of the survivors of the Mahanaset steamer wreck. And okay, flowers, beach memorial, various candles. Beach memorial. Her memorial, then find answers. Who cares? Flowers. There we go. Mama Hansa went down. She wasn't a victim, she was a hero. She saved a lot of people before her rowboat sank. She needs to know how much she meant to them. It looks like there was some kind of loving tribute left here. I wonder if it was anything to do with the girl. The whole story, this lady was a hero. Her, her actions saved a lot of lives when the Mon Hanaset steamer sank. So you're a brave lady, let's go and tell you that. Did you find anything? That name you remember, the Mon Hanaset? Turns out it was a steamer ship that sank right outside of Salem Harbor. If it weren't for you, a lot of people would have died. You're a hero. If I saved everyone, then how did I die? No, no, you, you didn't save everyone, but you were trying to. Your rowboat capsized. I can't swim, so I must have drowned. I'm sorry. No, don't be. 
Thanks to you, instead of fear and sadness, I feel pride. If it weren't for you, I would never have known. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm glad I could help. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna quickly check out over here as well. So we're meant to go in that direction, obviously. So let's take a quick look, see where we could have gone. Make sure there's no demons. I almost forgot that. Uh, that's where we just came from. Oh, it's this lady sitting there. I'd accuse my boss of witchcraft in a heartbeat. <laughs> I wish ghosts were real and we could just talk to them. <laughs> Little do you know, lady, you've got one standing right next to you. Let's keep going. Nope, no excess in there. Okay, we've got a collectible there. That car... Tattoo. It's a side mission, obviously. That car tattoo. I didn't even have to ask about the car stealing tattoo. I hate it. It's garish, crude, common. You can sense my disapproval, but I suppose it's too late. All tattoos come with the, with the danger of regret. Very true. Oh, absolutely awesome. Okay, gas canisters now as well. So I'm guessing that's a new investigation like the one in the hotel I guess. Okay, let's keep going, let's move on to the church. St. Benedict's Church, a historic site. Founded in 1874. Let's go. When you're running away, you need a sanctuary. A place where nothing bad can touch you. But you can never escape the questions. They follow you everywhere. to figure out where the witness is. Find your way to the church. Objective complete. We did it, guys. Moving on. Investigate the church. Damn it, I missed that. Investigate the church to find the witness. I saw something over here as I came in. It's a saw. That's kind of, kind of creepy. Let's keep moving. Hello, Ghost Crow. Hey, Birdie. Why are you vibrating like that? It's, it's weird. Okay, let's look around here, see where we go. It's this guy. That can't be, can't smell good. What? Did she find, didn't, did she find that creepy? That can't smell good. I can't smell good. It smells perfect. It smells like her. So you just decided to help yourself to her closet? No, 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 no. The ones in her closet were too new. Besides, she knew someone had been in there. I waited until she threw them out. You know, I was always good at waiting and watching. Sometimes she would look around like she could feel me watching. And if she caught you? Then what? 
Your whole world would come crashing down. Why? It never has in the past. I deal with her the way I dealt with the others. And then I move on to the next one. Moving on in this place might be harder than you think. Oh, so this guy's a psycho sitting there holding a lady shoe. You freak. Hey, find your own girl. This one's mine. Wow. You freak. Oh, something else over there. Stop. Can't stop loving him. The man who he is, I can't help myself. I try to stay away, to be sensible, to consider someone I could actually share a normal life with. But I find myself thinking of Ronan all the time. And I can't stop. Can't. This is it. This is what real love is. She had it bad. Demon. In case you don't, guys don't know what that pit does, it pretty much takes your soul. Saving us from the dark trials to come. Deliver us from the shadow of the evil one. Save us from the dark trials to come. Deliver us from the shadow of the evil one. Ronin's Fedora. We watched an old black and white gangster movie, Marathon Together. The night before last, I couldn't believe he'd never seen them. I loved the romantic parts. He loved the tough guy parts. When I brought him the fedora the next day, he looked confused but adopted it so quickly. It's just part of him now. I don't think he'll ever take it off. She's praying what I'm thinking. It's getting dangerous out there with all these murders. At least we're safe in here. I don't think that evil bastard is going to hide out anywhere near the church. So they're basically talking about the murderer, right? Who is this person sitting in? Can I speak to you without dying from this stuff? Damn. Hey, hey, hey! It's okay. Just don't go near them. I couldn't look anymore. I, I had to stop it. Those hands, they tore at my soul, at my mind. It's your eyes. They get in through your eyes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just calm down. You're not making any sense. <laughs> what? They're coming for you. Whoa, it's a crazy lady. I can still see them. See who? I can still see them. Okay, I'm gonna leave you there. Let's keep moving. Should we this if there's someone up there, please start protecting us. Murderer guys, everybody shook. Okay. Okay, this is definitely part of the main quest. Where is she? Wasn't there a clue about the church and the apartment? The church? Anywhere that I could stay, just for a Oh, while. of course, dear. The church is always here now. I think we have an old attic you can stay in for as long as you like. Staying in the attic? I better go check it out. Okay, so we obviously have to go up. Can we go up? Oh, demon on the stairs. There is definitely a demon on the stairs, so we will take the second route. Huh. Okay. So we're blocked on both sides, really. Whoa. It's a ghosty there. Burned rectory plaque. Near this spot, 
the original St. Benedict Rectory was lost to flames in 1901. Interesting. Can we do this on the other side? Oh, I thought that was a ghost. Oh. Whoa, who are these ghosties? Hi guys, we're in the same predicament. Okay. Second time's a charm. I asked him to ask me again. I was lucky he hadn't left me later. Left me after I never answered his first proposal. He must really love me. He smirked and got down on one knee, kneeling right in a dirty puddle on the street. He didn't care because he knew what this meant. I'd already made up my mind finally. I grabbed my, he, he grabbed my hand and said, will you? And I just said yes. Didn't even let him get to the part about marrying me. We just knew and we laughed. And that was a good sign. Oh, is that sweet? What do we have here? Oh, they got married. This is considered marriage. There's one promise I never regretted. Marrying Julia. The best day of my life. We had known from the start we would end up here sooner or later. I'm actually liking the, the little side, uh, well, side uh, information about uh, who this guy is and his wife and everything else. It's pretty good. Okay, we need to be on the other side, I'm guessing, so let's head over there. Get me, dude. Um, okay. What's up here? Got another saw. Okay, that's where we came from. We have to get out that door. <laughs> I can I can cross these things and people are okay. Boom. And I kind of didn't get a chance to because you were seeing. Get back over the old man. Jump out. There we go. Nice. The attic must be up there. Hey, kitty. I love cats. I think we should get a thumbs up just for a cat. Any cat lovers out there, thumbs up. End of forever. Let's do it. The whole story. My beach. Ah. Mysterious murder. She thinks an older couple. Okay, that's something we've already done. Old one secret. No. The priest told her she would stay in the attic. She could stay in the attic where she would be. Where would that be? Sorry. My apologies, guys. I'm just totally ripping all of this information to crap. And 
that sweet little boy right there. You're gonna disappear when I come close. That kid, you got like no neck, dude. Okay, let's keep going. Think I can pick up in there? I, think I, can I don't know, Angie. Brian is a lovely boy, but I worry about his family. Well, his mother does seem to be a bit of a heartbeat, but. It's just that Shelly is a girl that boisterous and I worry about the pressures of their relationship. Oh, Sheila, they'll be fine. You know they'll have a long time to write. Ooh, let's check the demons, guys. Oh, crap. Okay, we've got at least one demon in this place. Okay, we've got a revealable here. Going up. So, we definitely have to go up, guys. Hello, Mr. I can possess the cat. I can be a kitty. Again, thumbs up for the kitty. Hey, Mr. Kitty, I'm gonna possess you. Oh, cool. Can I get close to now? I can't. Ah, um, Mr. Kitty Cat. That's awesome. Cat's eye view. Oh, cool. Shoot, calf, get out of here. No. I'm gonna meow. Those air vents okay? Oh, yes, sir. Just regular maintenance. These things are big enough for small animals to go hiking in. So we just have to make sure none of the little critters get trapped in there. Well, then what happens then? You probably don't want to hear about it in the food preparation area. It can get smelly. <laughs> So that was obviously a little hint there. Cat can go through that. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, they're quite the fairy tale. They weren't high school sweethearts, you know. Everyone thinks they were, but they just seem like they've been in love forever. But they met right after college. Total chance thing, trip to Europe. I was hoping he'd meet a nice Irish girl in Dublin, but he met Shelley down in Florence. And she's from Boston. He travels thousands of miles across the freaking ocean to meet the love of his life, who lives right down the road. Kind of makes you believe in fate. Okay, we need another four of those for this part of the story. Let's see what we have in here. Oh my god. Oh man. There's only one demon in this place. Okay, I'm not trying to be picky, but seriously, now do you call this a centerpiece? I'm sorry, ma'am. The request form said it would be a Puritan themed display. It wasn't a lot more specific. Let's get him. Just look at it. Nice. Anything when they landed on Plymouth Rock? Well, I didn't think it needed to be that precise. No, you didn't think too hard about any of this, did you? Hmm. Authentic Puritan is organic, rustic, yet tasteful. It says same. It's well, I don't want to step on that. Okay, there's another thing here. Okay, we need three more of those guys. The monster's dead, so we don't have to worry about that. Should I quickly look for the last couple of those souls? Oh, there's one. Two more. Okay, I can't run through a wall. My boy quarterback oh, there's 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 well. He's on the bus. There's nothing in here though. Okay, Mr. Kitty Cat can get in here as well. 
Oh, this is the room we actually... Okay, okay, that makes sense. We settled in Salem in the 1600s. We invented Thanksgiving. Okay, can't go up there. What can we? Oh, I'd have to be... I'd have to be inside the cat, wouldn't I? I can't do that. Okay, we've got a vent up there, so let's head in up the vent. Go on, Mr. Kitty. Well done. What do we have down here? Okay, this one room is down here. So basically down here we have to go. Nicely done, Mr. Kitty. I don't really see how that helps though. Head outside on the top of the table. Let's head outside. Oh, did you almost fall off the table there, Mr. Kitty? Being a cat, though, man, it's awesome. Cool. Alrighty. We're probably better off at home with the doors locked. Okay, that was lame. Let's keep going with Mr. Kitty. Hey, Mr. Priest, dude. Oh, cool. Mr. Kitty can climb. You go for it. I love it. That is awesome. Okay, cross here, obviously. That is so awesome. Quite smart move doing the whole uh, using the cat to get to higher places, I guess. Look at that. Like a boss. I don't look good. Awesome. There she is, finally. Why do I always lose my keys when I need to leave? How can I get through to her? Okay, I need to figure out what the witness knows. What do you know, girl? Interesting in the room? No. Can we possess? Yes, we can. Influence. Hold on. on me. Now, I'm tracking down my killer, okay? Someone who was 
seconds away from attacking you about an hour ago, and if... You can see me and hear me? She's a medium. Holy shit. You're a medium. <laughs> Well, I ain't I the luckiest guy in the world. I just found the perfect little helper. What is it with you guys and my family? Helping the cops do their job is not some, some privilege. It's a trap. I'm not your informant, your partner, or your friend. I don't owe you anything. You owe me. Dick. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. You're tough, okay? But you're not tougher than him. You saw what he can do. He's coming after you, or someone close to you. Whoever he wants dead is lucky to still be alive. Now, I know what I'm doing, and you can help me stop him. All you have to do is answer some questions. Look, I'm sorry. What happened to you was horrible. You... you... You saved my life, so what do you want? Fine. Don't talk. See what I care. Uh, why would the killer be looking for you? I was murdered tracking that son of a bitch to your place. So why would he be looking for you? That freak was probably looking for my mom. Not me. I I'm a nobody. Invisible. My mom and I tried very hard to keep it that way. Not everybody wants to be noticed, you know. Looking for your mom. Looking for your mom? What does that mean? She's like me, but she found a way to make a respectable living off of what we can do. Living that probably turned her into a target. I'm telling you, I'm out of here soon. Do you know the killer? Have you ever seen my killer before tonight? Do you have any idea who he is? You cops are so hard up on clues that you're actually asking people if they know who the killer is. I get why you need so much help. I'm not asking people. I'm asking the witness whose life I just saved. Where's your mom? So where's your mom, kid? Probably dead. She would never just leave me without saying a word. Never. I don't know where she is. I know the bell killer had something to do with her disappearance. Him showing up tonight just proves it. If he killed her, why would he come back to her place? I don't know. Look, assuming the worst never helped no one. Why are you at the apartment tonight? Hurry up, Why man. don't you live there? What do you mean, respectable living? I'm telling you, I'm out of here soon. Why were you at the apartment? All right, all right. What were you doing at your apartment? I live there, Sherlock. Well, I used to, whatever. My mother has been missing for a few days. I don't see her that often, but she never just disappears. Not like this. You were going to ask me something. Why don't you live there? Why don't you live there? Because of people like you, always asking for help. Trying to connect one last time with your loved ones or, or resolve some crazy problem. I love my mom, but I can't live in one place for too long or people like you will find me too easily. I wasn't home much either growing up. Rough. 
What do you mean, respectable living? Fine. Don't talk. See what I mean? Respectable living? Yeah. Hey, you might know her. She was working the Bell Killer case for the cops as a contract psychic. A profiler. Psychic. Don't ring any bells. I found this in the apartment tonight. Mentioned something about some Bell Killer book. And it's in her handwriting. Bell Killer book. If she was a profiler, it's probably the book she kept all her case notes in. That would be at the station. Really? You're not safe alone. You need someone watching over you. Us cops find missing people. I found you, and I can help you find your mom. Your problem is now my problem, too. <laughs> no way. Uh, don't get me wrong. You saved my life, and... Okay, I can't pay that back, but... Your problems are your problems, and mine are mine. <sighs> there they are. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Have a nice afterlife. Whoa, wait a minute! Don't go yet! Just stop for a second, will you? We're on the same side. If your mother's involved, we need to work together. Work together? What are you gonna do? You're dead! I'll handle it. Just leave me alone! I bet she knows more. I can't let her get away. There's gotta be another way down. Mr. Kitty. I can't lose track of the witness. She's the only one who can help me find the bell killer. Okay, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, if you enjoyed this playthrough, uh, hit me up with a like. Throw me out a comment if you uh, want to say something, you saw something or something else. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part four. And I'll hit you up on the flip side. Peace.